Hello everyone, this is Raman. So today we will talk about the event object. So this event object is basically the object which uh, which describe about the event properties. Like for example, when when you are clicking with the mouse, so mouse event is called is it up down. So these kind of things we we can determine by using the mouse with the event object. So to demonstrate, let me have a button here. Input type equals to button and let's say value equals to submit. Okay, so I have a button. Now I want to have a div here. So div and I give id equals to div1. Okay, so to display the result, um, let me put a break here. Okay. Now, as we have seen in my previous tutorial, that there are different mouse events are available that we can use with the jQuery. So I'm using one of the event which is mouse up event. So what I'm going to do here, I want to let me give an ID here, ID equals to etn1. So I'm going to write a mouse up event. So let's search the element btn1, right? Dot mouse, sorry, dot mouse. We can write it on mouse up or mouse down. So I'm writing it on mouse down, mouse up. And here I'm saying execute a function and what that function will do. That function will perform some operation for this. So in this function, we can pass an event object and that event object contains the properties which is related to mouse up event. So say an example. So I want to say uh, here I'll take switch case switch event dot event dot so yes event dot which right so this which method tells us that which button is clicked. Whether we click the right button, whether we click the left button. Right? So these kind of things we can see. So it returns a numeric value, one for the left. So I'll say if it, it is the case, then uh, so we have a div element, so I can say dollar search the div one dot html and I'll say left button is clicked. Okay and we need to use the break as well so case two case two means when the middle button is clicked so case two i want to do the same thing just will change the text so i'll say middle button is pressed let's copy this entire 
case 3 when the right button is clicked. So currently I'm using the keyboard of my laptop so I don't have the middle button but we can test the others left and right. Okay, so when I mouse up, it says left button because I click the left. Now I'm using right, so it says right button is clicked. So this is the benefit of the event object. So there are other benefits also. We can use this event properties for to find the details of the particular event as well as we have seen here in the mouse up event when we are clicking left button right button or middle button so we can detect whether which button is clicked now here say an example if I remove this okay and let me use the button click event so now what I want to say, I want to say that what event is fired and what is its target type and what is its tag name. So these things if I want to detect, so I can use the event object as well for this. So what I'm saying that I want to print into my div div one dot html and this is extra okay wait a second is there any problem So we are having this bracket. So this is extra. Okay, so this is fine now. So what I want to print, I want to print which event is called so i'll say single course event name equals to let's say event so we can use event dot type so there is a type property it is not showing over here so with the help of this, we can find the event type property. So let's run it. So if I click on this, there is something wrong. Okay, so here is okay, so here it will be hash. Okay, so let's rerun it. So when I click on this, so it says event click is fired. Okay, so same way if you want to do it on mouse down so so now i'm mouse down so it, it says mouse down even so it can detect that which even and also if you want to 
print the target element that also we can find it out by sync event so let's use the same quotes single quotes plus equals to event dot so there is a target dot type so this gives us the target so let's run it okay so when i click it it says my target element is button so this is the benefit of event object thank you very much for watching it and please do not forget to subscribe